Alrighty, what's up everybody? My peeps, what's going on? My sexy, beautiful peeps and all you other pieces of garbage. It's I, Peter Joseph here for a late night video on this Thursday night, August the 2nd, excuse me, August the 1st. 2024, but you're watching this on, if you're on the replay crew, my great peeps on the, on the replay crew, is August the 2nd, 2024, as we start the unofficial start, on uh, unofficial weekend, first weekend of August, as uh, the dog days of August have started, so, got a long month to go, we got another four weeks to go before we hit Labor Day weekend, the unofficial end of summer, so... We're counting on those days, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we got that, and the sun's going to be going down by 8 o'clock by next week. We got that, and but it's not going to, it's going to get dark, dark by around, still around 8.20, between 8.25 and 8, 8, 8, 8, quarter to 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., so, still, you can go out and do your whatever you got to do during the day, and you have a couple of, a couple of extra hours to hang out, and then you can go out at night if you have to, but it is what it is. But the summer is pretty much almost, o it's going to be over by, in four weeks, about a month from actually this date, September the 2nd, will be the end, well, pretty much the unofficial end of summer, so... So if you didn't do ha have any plans for the summer and you just stayed home all, all summer, well, pfft, you pretty much suck. But it is what it is, and that's uh, pretty much it. I got my vacation coming up in um, a couple weeks, so so it's a mini vacation, not a not a big long vacation because my long vacation had to get, had a, well had to get postponed because my friends had something come up and I was supposed to go out go out to Cali. Like last week, but it got changed to uh, middle of, uh, from two weeks from now. So I'm going on a off. Uh, pretty much, I'm going on a five day vacation. I'll be gone Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, coming, and I'll be back um, early Monday. So, but I'll be here for your Monday night raw review on um on that that day. So that's the nineteenth. I'll be back. So, so a little mini vacation, but so. No, no, no reviews from that Thursday through Sunday. So, so no collision review, no SmackDown Rampage review, not even a TNA Ring of Honor review uh, here on YouTube. But on social media, I will do a mini review on maybe on X or Twitter or whatever it's called. But we got that. But anyway, we move on with that. So, stay tuned for that. And uh, but that's coming up in a couple weeks. All next week. I'll be here this weekend and all next week, and um, and the first part of the the week I'm at my vacation week, but we got that. So mo that Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, the twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth, I will be here to, to do the reviews for AEW, Dynamite, NXT, and Monday Night Raw. So we got that. But after that, I will, I'll be gone for about five days. So and it's a legit vacation. You think I'm not going? You can kiss my ass, but. It is, it is what it is, and that's uh, pretty much it. Alright, not about that beat, boo, funky. Hope you had a great Thursday as we start the unofficial first weekend of August. We've got SummerSlam uh, coming up on Saturday night. Tomorrow, pretty much, is the, is the kickoff show. We've got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. A lot of people already in Cleveland. So... Hope you have fun this weekend and get home safe on Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, whenever you're going back. But it is what it is. And uh, hopefully we'll see the return of our Tribal Chief. Not Solo, that fake as fuck Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns. Hopefully we'll be back Saturday night to probably one of the biggest pops in wrestling. But we'll see what happens with, with that. But we do got SmackDown tomorrow. We got two title matches on the line. Uh, got the women's tag team tag team titles on the line. The unholy union of Alba Fire and Issa Dante on the former champions, Jade Cargill and Miss Bianca Belair. And 
Uh, we also got the SmackDown ta SmackDown Men's Tag Team titles as the hometown boy, Johnny Gargano, and the Psycho Kidder. Tommaso Ciampa defend against, well, two members of the Bloodline. That's Tama Tonga and my good friend, Chico Fatu, along with uh, the fake-ass fuck, uh, Chavo Chief Solo, and Tonga Loa. So we got that. There is, and there's rumors that Jimmy Uso might be on the show tomorrow. I don't know, but... People saying that Roman's not going to show up on Saturday. And he might show up, show up at Bed Blood. I hope not. I don't want him... I don't want Roman to show up at a B-level pay-per-view like Bad Blood is going to be. I mean, Bash of Berlin? No, no. I mean, that's... International pay-per-views, you should not have a return. I'm just saying. But that's just me. But Roman should come back Saturday night to the to the pay-per-view where he came back three, year, three and a half years ago. Pretty much almost four years ago. Which was SummerSlam 2020. Where he beat the crap out of the late, great Bray Wyatt and Braun Strowman. Then right after that, a payback 2020, he won the... Uh, I think he won the WWE, I think he won the Universal title, the WWE title, and then pretty much after that, he went on a three and a half year juggernaut run, it was great, but a lot of people are like, he never defended the belt much, he wasn't even on the show much, but he still is our tribal chief, and we must acknowledge him every day, even if he's not there on the show, or He's just taking a couple of months, a uh, four month hiatus. But he'll be back, hopefully on Saturday night, along with Jimmy. But we'll see what happens with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on this late uh, Thursday night, right here on the Peter Joseph channel, I'm Peter Joseph. If you didn't know that by now, I think you should have figured it out by now. But anyway, I'm a content creator to talk on the wonderful world of professional wrestling or anything else I want to talk about. And if you like it, great. Hit that like button. You want more? Hit that bell. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything. Because if you miss anything, you need to get slapped in the face. Because you're SOL and you should know what that means by now. If not, then you are pretty much dumb. That's your problem, you know. You need to get slapped in the face if you don't know what, what SOL means. Not SOO, I said SOL. Like... A lot of people I know. This is Head Easy. And that's uh, pretty much it. And also follow me on on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to this channel and my other accounts as well, all down below. But gotta be real, if you're not, get the fuck out of here. And go go drown your sorrows on your dead channel. I don't need you here. I don't want you here. I care less for you here. So but you're going to stay here. You know why? Because you love me. And I love you too. That's up pretty much it. Oh yes, I did shave. You can't see it because uh, my screen is not bright right now. Because I'm using a different... I'm using a website that has a you know, black screen. It sucks, but it is what it is. But in any case, yeah. I did finally shave the, uh, the grizzly beard today. Because uh, finally, finally got around, around to doing it. Because I've been... On and off sick for the last couple weeks. Non-COVID related, thank the Lord. I did take an at-home test anyway. And it was negative. So, COVID, you lose again, bitch. You know, I have a little chest problem that uh, might might be... Bron I have a, might have a little bit of bronchitis. Because, you know, because of the sickness, I had phlegm and mucus in my throat. Very bad. Stuffy nose. It wasn't the flu. It was just a really bad sinus cold. Not COVID. So, thank the Lord for that. But, had to make sure. But, I was, I was in and out. I was like, on and off sick for the last pretty much, pretty much two weeks almost. It, you know, same thing with the missus. But, you know, we both tested negative. So, we're good. Sorry, folks. For all you people that, <laughs> want me off this great website and out of out of your hair, but can't kill what you did not create, like the great Slipknot used to sing. 
You can't do it. Only the man upstairs can do that. And it ain't gonna be any time soon. So, you don't like it? Kiss my rosy Italian ass. That's pretty much it. You can all go to hell and burn for all I care. That's that. Alright, anyway, on this uh, late Thursday night, right here on the Peter Joseph channel, uh, so, like I you know, so subscribe, follow me on social media, leave a comment if you wish, but like I said, if you leave stupid comments, go bye bye, you go bye bye, you get blocked, you don't like it, go cry to your mama. And, uh, pretty much it. We don't have, we don't like crybabies here, but, and, and, uh, you know, obnoxious idiots. So, you don't like it, tough. You don't like it, like what I say, my opinion. Too bad because your opinion sucks. My opinion matters way more than yours. That's true. But we had that. So, subscribe, like the video, comment on the video if you wish. And I share the video all over the internet and follow me on social media and don't forget to hit that bell. And if you're new here, welcome to the party, pal. We hope you enjoy, your, enjoy the ride. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And that's it. Alright, I did a long intro, plus a little SmackDown preview for tomorrow. So look at that. Alright, I'm going to get this video out of the way, and I'm going to um, tape my NXT review. We'll do TNA Ring of Honor tomorrow, after, uh, tomorrow afternoon. Get you ready for SmackDown Live from Cleveland tomorrow night, and a taped Rampage. And, also, and then Saturday at 5 p.m., we got a... Tate Collision, which I already saw the spoilers, and eh, I'll just say it's not the greatest show, but there is an, a little interesting uh, little stipulation that it was added to uh, uh, Brian Danielson and Jer Jer, G E W F J A W R E W T, that's Jer Jer, for their match coming up this Wednesday night on the program from Winston Salem, North Carolina. So. Mm, might be interesting on um, Wednesday night. So we got that. Speaking of AEW Dynamite, I know I got big stories, uh, two big stories, uh, really three big stories I want to talk about, but but really, I want to quickly add in this one. Holy shit, the Dynamite rating went down. I mean, way down. They had almost 800,000 last week. This week, a paltry 609,000 views. I guess you could chalk that up to the Olympics, but I don't know. I thought Dynamite was a good show that, like, uh, last night. I don't know how it did 609,000. I, I don't know, but it's just the way it is right now with wrestling. And uh, pretty much, you know, NXT and uh, Raw's been starting to get good again. SmackDown the last few weeks have been down. Even though Raw did a 1.4 rating, by the way. 1.4. Four. So, yeah, I mean, raw, I mean, wrestling's been pretty much taking a hit right now because the Olympics and baseball's still going on. Football's gone on. They had the Hall of Fame game this weekend, I think. I thought it was tonight, but I didn't even... If it was tonight, I missed it, so... And I think it was the uh, the Chiefs who were in it. I forget who was playing. I could care less. Um... But yeah, you know, I think we got the whole thing game. I think this uh, is coming up or already happened. It happened good, whatever. But preseason football coming your way. I think it's next week. Uh, I think it's next weekend or weekend after that. So not the 49ers. Start pretty soon. Brandon Ayuk. Oh, this, this, the saga with this motherfucker. Goes on the field all in black. And he's like... Like, what's up, Kyle? What's up, coach? Smacking him around, you know, give him a high five and then everything. And then he goes over to uh, the John Lynch, did the same thing. So I don't know if they're going to sign this guy by this weekend or by the end of the month. Who knows? Who knows what in the saga of Brandon Ayuk? He gets traded or he stays on the team. And then maybe they franchise him next for next season, or next two seasons, really. You know, you should get his his bag, but you know, maybe the Niners are like, I was like, all right, we'll I'll give you twenty six million, we'll give you thirty million, thirty two million. Who knows right now? But I think I think it's all just a setup for him to get his 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 
is a bag pretty soon, but we'll see what happens with that. So, I got that coming away. Alright, so we move on. So, yeah, the Dynamite rating, 609,000 last night. Ugh. So, we got that. Alright, let's get to the uh, one of the big stories that came out today. The Survivor Series location and date was announced by the game Chipper H on his Twitter page. So, we finally know when Survivor Series is going to be and where. When is it going to happen? Well, November the 30th, the final day of November, that's a Saturday night. November the 30th, 2024. Where? Up there in Canada. Yep, Canada's getting to some fire series, I think, for the first time in many years. Well, besides the Montreal screw job, we all know that one. Uh, but yeah, November the 30th, 2024, some fire series, the final uh, major pay per view. For the WWE, the last of the Big Four. It's going to be at the Rogers Center in Vancouver, British Columbia. That's a long way from Puerto Rico and everywhere else in the, on the East Coast. That's like three hours back. So that, that, that pay-per-view will be starting around well, the pre-show. 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, probably. 2, 3, well, I doubt 4, but... Maybe around, uh, well, let's see. Uh, main show will probably start at 7. Like, like uh, SummerSlam is starting at 7. Pre-show is at 4. Why? I don't know. Three hours of a fucking pre-show with no matches. Shouldn't that even never happen, but it is what it is. So I can, I can imagine that Survivor Series pre-show is going to be around 4 o'clock as well. 1 o'clock on uh, in Vancouver. So, it's going to start at 7. Probably start at 7 p.m., here in the Northeast, and then 4 p.m. in British Columbia, but we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, Survivor Series 2024 coming to the Rogers Center in Vancouver, British Columbia for the uh, for their uh, first major pay per view, right there. I think at least in that arena, but. So we got that. So yeah, Canada, great for you. You get another pay per view. You had uh, um, Money in the Bank in Toronto. Now you got Survivor Series in Vancouver. So anybody going to uh, Survivor Series this year? I know Issa always goes to those big four pay per views. So that's gonna be a very long plane ride from Puerto Rico, and then you get a, probably get a connecting flight. I don't know where, probably in Orlando, or who knows, and it will probably be Orlando, and then Orlando, all the way, boom, all the way to Vancouver, so, it'll take the, I don't know, how long it takes from San, uh, San, San Juan, Puerto Rico, or, well, San Juan, Puerto Rico to Orlando, I think it takes like maybe three, maybe four hours tops, that hurts, and then after that, you have to wait for your connecting flight, and then... You got, a, you got another at least five hours. I know if you go to New York to L.A., it's like five hours. At least five, maybe six hours. Plus the time change, of course. So. So that's going to be another five hours. So, you, you know, God, I mean, East is going to be in the air for like ten hours. Oy. Unless she stays in Orlando, then leaves the next day and from Orlando to Vancouver. But that's going to be a crazy weekend. And that's Thanksgiving weekend, by the way. So you got Thanksgiving, then you got Black Friday, which is the uh, the kickoff show, plus SmackDown Live and Rampage. And then you got Collision. I don't even know if the Collision is going to happen that night, unless they do what they're doing this weekend and tape it at 5 p.m., go to 7 p.m., so they don't... Uh, well, the ratings are going to suck on Saturday for Collision anyway. I'll be shocked if they do like 500,000. I'll be shocked for a 5 p.m. show. But, I mean, it is what it is. That's the price you pay Tony Khan for going head to head with WWE on a Saturday when they have major pay per views or non major pay per views. But, I mean, it is what it is. And that's that. So, once again, the Survivor Series 2024 World Games, I and hopefully. Mr. Regal 
will um will be on Raw or SmackDown to say Logan. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, 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 he couldn't say it last year because it wasn't. He was in WWE, but he couldn't go on TV yet. But now he uh, has the contract. I assume he, he can be a on-screen character. I mean, we saw him in NXT when he was talking. He had that little thing in the ring with you know his son Charlie Dempsey. So I would I would assume by no beginning of November after Crown Jewel, we'll get the lead up to War Games, and then we'll see Regal come out. Probably on, probably, probably, I would think on Raw, or well, maybe, well, maybe SmackDown with Nick Aldis, but because it is going to be a Bloodline Civil War and the Bloodlines on SmackDown, so we got that. And then maybe he comes out on Raw with the uh, the Women's War Games match. And he goes War Games, you know. So we got that. Maybe maybe be at the pay per view to say let's start War Games. So we'll see what happens with. That. So, for all you Vancouverites out there, or you Canucks, what the fuck is a Canuck anyway? But, <laughs> if you know, ask Ranger fans that one, but it is what it is. So, all you Canucks up there in, in Vancouver, get ready. I don't know when tickets go on sale for that, but, you know, hopefully you save your, you save your money, and you go there, have a good time if you're in Vancouver, you don't have to go that far, but if you're in L.A., Chicago, Houston, San Antonio, even in Florida, or New York, and the East Coast. You're going to be, uh, yeah, it's a long, long as fuck plane ride. Back and forth. So if you're going to stay that whole weekend, or just, you know, you, you, I would say you probably get there Wednesday night. Spend Thanksgiving with your friends and go to a nice little, I don't know where you're going to go for Thanksgiving. In Vancouver, I might add. Um... You do that, then uh, Friday night, Friday you got the you got the media day and all that all the, all the all the great stuff happening on a Friday, and then Saturday night, you know, it's Survivor Series with the scrum after with the media media scrum after that, and then I would assume a lot of people are gonna be leaving on sun that Sunday, which is December the first. So either most people are gonna be coming back December the first or probably December the second. That's how, like I said, it's a long plane ride. And it is what it is. Alright, so that's one of the big uh, topics I want to talk about. The other one, oh, this this chick. Sasha Banks, otherwise known as Mercedes Monet, the CEO. That chick. Big news on her. Uh... You know, she came out today on her YouTube page. I don't even know if she had YouTube a YouTube page. I might have to subscribe to that. But anyway, she goes on 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 um YouTube and discusses her uh her uh, little her uh, relationship with her now ex husband Makaze, also known as Sirath Tan, or Tone, not Tony Khan, but you know. So she mentioned on her uh, on her YouTube page that she has filed for divorce finally from her husband, and uh, the divorce happened on uh, the thirtieth, which I believe is Monday, uh, Mon- uh, no Tuesday. So now she comes on today saying, "I'm finally free from being afraid. I'm you know I f- I'm gonna sign my my divorce papers tomorrow." And I'm going to be free from this jerk. That they were, you know, they got married August the 4th, 2016. So, pretty much an, an almost an eight-year marriage. They met in 2010. Well, both were on the, on the uh, pretty much the indie wrestling circuit. And uh, Mikazi, who specialized in designing wrestling gear, became close to uh, Mercedes Monet after helping her with some of her some new gear. Uh, he's been behind most of Mercedes' gear. Some that were not so good. You know, they've been been together for nearly eight years. No children. How is that possible? I know because, you know, Mercedes is on the road a lot. You know, doesn't come home that much. 
I don't, I don't know what Sarat was doing between 2006 and 2024, besides, you know, staying at home, being a douchebag, and probably, and besides uh, designing wrestling gear for Mercedes and probably a bunch of other women's wrestlers. But, probably not a lot of time to fuck, but, I mean, you have Mercedes Monet as your wife, and, I mean, you have no kids. And those, and that, those, that span of eight years, almost eight years. I'm like, come on now, dude. I mean, yeah, good fucking, but still. I mean, you couldn't. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume they at least talked about it. I mean, Mercedes is like in her thirties now. Well, she's not gonna be with McKay McCausey anymore. She's probably gonna be probably being passed around in the back in AEW anyway. Right now, who knows at this point? But she's probably gonna get with another guy. Probably marry the guy, probably drain him of his of of his money and probably his his uh, semen. But uh, that's another story for another time. But should have been me. But that's another story. Um, but anyway, I digress. Um, but yeah. So we got that. Like I said, the divorce was filed on Tuesday in the circuit court and county in Seminole County, Florida, where the couple I believe lived. I thought they lived in uh, Boston or wherever. But anyway, but the divorce case is currently active and has not been finalized as of right now, but it will be tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, uh, basically she said on her, I think it's from YouTube, uh, the, the statement from YouTube, she says, and I quote, I was pissed off, I was mad, it was money in the bank, he made this, this is talking about the, the gear, he made this. He made me this disgusting, ugly Lupes Green, meaning puce or puke green, probably uh, yellow, white, and navy together. I legit cried and screamed. I'm not gonna wrestle good. This makes me look ugly. I hate it, and I made him feel so bad. I'm like, this is not what I said. All this stuff, and honestly, it didn't make me feel confident when I went out there. I remember doing my entrance, and I slipped a little bit. I remember that. And, uh, she, she was really mad. Pissed at him. Why did you make this? What is wrong with you? You stupid fuck. You know? And sleep on the couch tonight. Pretty much. Pretty much that. Uh. But, uh, yeah. We pretty... That was that. That was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back. Um, I didn't even know they had, like... Marital problems besides that that incident, but I guess I, I just I just I guess that uh, you know that incident, you know. Plus, what she said is that I'm finally free from being afraid. Afraid of what? A lot of people saying, that, "Oh, Makashi was beat the fucking shit out of her." I doubt that. You're looking at if you look at a picture of Makashi, is a guy that. Probably even couldn't even beat Wheeler Yuta. Sorry, William Yuta, not Wheeler, but it's William Yuta. That's because his real name is William. But in any case, yeah, this guy couldn't even 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 punch punch himself out of, of a wet paper bag. He's a he's a twig, basically. He's a bum. I could fuck him up. But I mean, seriously, he couldn't even beat William Yuta. That's sad saying that. I mean. I mean, you're but you're freaking Mercedes Monet, and you, God forbid, you're getting beat up by that guy. And then a lot of people saying this is a publicity stunt. It might be just she wants to divorce him to get a whole bunch more money and alimony and shit. A lot of people saying, oh, she's she's leaving him for Tony Khan. Uh, no, nah, no, Tony Khan's got his own bitch. But you know. Uh, it, it, you know, I think it's just, it's just, you know, you know, another thing with Sa with uh, Mercedes, Sasha Banks, whatever you want to call her. Uh, she has just gone wacko over the last few months. Coming out and saying she's the greatest women's wrestler alive. No. Not even close. Not even close, dude. No. No, you're not. And then taking credit for the picture of Tony Khan and uh, Shane McMahon this past Monday uh, on Monday, 
I don't think it was, I, I doubt it was her. I think it was just somebody that knows Tony Gone. But, I mean, I mean, th there were rumors that uh, Shane McMahon, uh, the reason the meeting happened because somebody close to Shane that knows him for a very long time, uh, Brian Danielson, but, you know. I, I, you know, oh, Sasha, uh, well, Sasha said that just because, you know, she wants to be noticed and get attention, because that's what she, she wants, she's an attention whore, but, you know, she wants to be the best at everything, she's like, I'm the best women's wrestler today, you're of all time, no, you're not, shut up, just shut up and wrestle, that's all I gotta say about that, but, in any case, yeah, Sasha's now on the market, as of pretty much today, tomorrow, it is what it is, so, uh, so yeah, so all, all, for all the male talent and all the people backstage, you know, go get, go get a piece of Sasha Banks hot sexy H while you can. But like I said, she's, she's pr probably been passed around pff, for years, who knows, who, or now, who knows, at this point. She's probably been... She probably, you know, banging guys behind Mikasi's back. And she was like, I, I don't want you anymore. I found some other good dick. Who knows? I don't know. But that 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 line when she says, I'm finally free from being afraid. That kind of makes you think. Was there domestic abuse? Rape? Who knows? Who knows? I think she's being, you know, with that, it's a cryptic little uh, message. I'm like, what exactly happened? Why are you saying that? Why are you saying you're you're free from being afraid? Afraid of what? I don't know. Maybe there'll be another interview down the line where she kind of explains that, and then uh, maybe maybe in a couple months we'll we'll find out who she's banging now, or she's with now. She's you know she's she's gonna be dating. I, I assume a lot of people people now. Or she might just say, you yeah, I'm divorced now, you know. And I'm not going to date much or I'm just going to, you know, be out of the dating pool for a little bit. And then just come back and, you know, when I'm ready to date. I mean, it is what it is. I know people that have, you know, that, that got divorced and then they waited like 10 years before, I mean, getting with another guy and banging and shit. You know, but I mean, they've dated here and there, but some of the dates have been... Pfft, you know, big shit, and then you find the right guy, you're with him for a very long time, not, not shooting my own horn, but, you know, just saying, not, not mentioning me with anybody, but, you know, I'm just saying, I know people, not, you know who, but other people I know that have been, you know, they, they got married, or they were in a long-term relationship, and it ended really bad, and then they were back on the dating Back in the dating pool, and it took them a long time to start dating again. You know, they dated around here and there. Maybe had casual sex with a couple of girls, and then the relationship just fizzled out. But and then they finally found somebody. And now they're married for like a long time. I know people like that, but the same. It is what it is, and that's uh, pretty much it. But you know. It took me a couple months actually when I when I when I, uh, when, when I broke up with my my ex girlfriend. It took me a couple months to uh, you know find you know find somebody. I didn't date. I mean, I was on dating sites and you know you know I talked to a few girls, but you know never went out on dates or anything like that. This was like two thousand seven. Like late 2007 going into 2008. I mean, I did go. I did go to a uh, a party for one a dating site. Uh, one of the dating sites had like uh like a, one of those meet and greet things at a bar, and me and a couple friends went. Wasn't that many people there, and plus, you know, there was a lot of a lot of women there. It was just like me, and my friend, maybe a couple people, besides the organizer. Say, like, hey, you're here for the party? Yeah, we're here. We just had a couple drinks, watched the, watched the Giants-Packers game from 2007. I think it was 2007 or 2008. I think it was around almost, I forget, what, the year that the Giants went to the Super Bowl. 
by beating the Packers. I think it was 7 or 8. 2007, 2008. I forget what year we actually about. But in any case, did that. Didn't, didn't meet anybody. It was just me and my friends hanging out at the bar watching the China game most of the time. And um, that was that was pretty much it. Then we went out to eat after that and then we went home. But in any case, and then a couple months later, that's when I, I met the missus. We met we, we 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 met online on a on a dating site in like two thousand and I think it was December two thousand seven or I think two, December two thousand seven January two thousand eight, and then we started talking. We did emails and everything. We finally met in April two thousand eight, and uh, sixteen years later, we're great great people. We're we're we're, we're, we're still together for sixteen. Plus years, almost 16 and a half. Pretty much in October, and it will be 16 and a half. So, next year will be 17. And gone, we've been beyond. Hopefully, we go. I don't think, I don't think, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just soulmates right now. And I never thought that I would be with her for 16 plus years. And married for pretty much eight. So, Half of those years, we've been, we've been ball and chain, basically, and great, amazing sex. I just have to say that. I'll toot my own horn on that one. You just can't get enough of the super cock, but it is what it is. I know I'm getting a little bit graphic, but I don't give a shit. I don't care if I talk about my sex life. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit, because I get more pussy than you dumb fucks do. With your bots, you know, your little femme bots, you call your hot, your girlfriends. She's hotter than her! No. Probably not. Have you seen her in the mirror lately without makeup? Or is that what you call your rubble doll? But it is what it is. Moving on. But yeah. I wish Mercedes well. I hope she finds a new guy. Whether it be in the wrestling realm or... Real life shit, but I mean, we'll see what happens with that. And that's a pretty much it. Alright, one final story. This one really, really interests me. Uh, we're going to talk about my good buddy, Adam Cole, baby! Now, you haven't seen him wrestling in the ring for over a year now with that horrible ankle injury where he broke it in like 6,000 places. We have, he's had... He's had some setbacks. Don't know when he's coming back, if at all. I think it's almost going to be two, one year or two years since he... I think it's going to be one year since he uh, broke his ankle in 6,000 places at Grand Slam. Just don't know when he's coming back. I mean, he did. he's doing great in rehab, but then, you know, there might have been a setback. And, um... Just, just delay, delaying, delay, delay, delay his in-ring, uh, in-ring return. Yeah, he's on Dynamite. He was on Dynamite a couple of times this year, but haven't seen him since. And uh, pretty much haven't seen him on Twitch in almost a month now. Uh, but he did go on on Discord in his Discord server for the, for the Chuck's Army and everything, and he put up a message. On, on Discord saying that that he's he he's moving to Pittsburgh. He's moved to Pennsylvania. I assume with Brit, but didn't really mention Brit at all. He's like, and he's moving by himself. That's why the delay in, on Twitch and everything. So he's moving everything out of out of his 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 house in Panama. You know, Panama City, uh, Florida, all the way up by himself, by the way. You know, to put it in his house, his new house in, uh, I believe, Pittsburgh. So, a lot of people saying, oh, why is Adam Cole do, move, moving by himself? What's, where's Brit in all this? And there's, then there's rumors today that uh, it was speculation that Adam Cole and Britt Baker broke up. I hope not. I mean, they look so good together. They're pretty much the same age. In their 30s. They're about to get married. 
So I assumed when he said, "I'm, um, you know, I'm gonna be moving to Pennsylvania," I was like, "I guess, he, I guess he's gonna move with Brit." Well, Brit has her uh, dental clinic in Florida. Unless like, she's gonna close that down and open one up in Pittsburgh, where she's from. I don't know. I I don't know what's going on in the land of Adam Cole, baby. But like I said, he, you know, he, the, the move by himself has really thrown a wrench into you know him being on Twitch playing Elden Ring or whatever he plays these days. Uh, but he did say that he's coming back to Twitch next week. So that's a good thing. Not a bad thing. That's a good thing. But we have that. So. Um, I mean, we'll see what happens with that. Maybe when he comes back on Twitch, he'll explain it all. Like, you know, the you know the move was was hard. Is it that hard? Anyway, so I mean, he'll 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 give a big explanation on his Twitch channel sometime next week. So stay tuned if you are following Adam Cole slash the Chugs on on Twitch or on X. On, even on Instagram and Discord, you know, stay tuned for more updates. And um, but like I said, hopefully it's not bad news. And he's still with Brit, where Brit comes out and says anything. He's like, yeah, me and me and Adam broke up. You know, I I don't know why they would break up unless you know they've been together for so long. And then I thought they were gonna get married this year or maybe early next year. Have amazing kids together, baby, you know. You know, sometimes, you know, you're together for a long time and you just, you just don't want to see each other anymore. Right? Sometimes I don't want to see her, you know, but we, we just make it work with 16 plus years. We just make it work and, it, and it's great. But I wish Adam Cole well in his move to Pittsburgh. Or at least to Pennsylvania. I don't know about Pittsburgh or somewhere in Pennsylvania. So, hopefully there's not bad news with Adam Cole, baby. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, uh, see what happens with that. Alright, so let's come some of the big stories of today. Uh, Mercedes Benet, uh, divorcing her husband, Makazi, and everything like that. There's some speculation, there might be domestic abuse, that's why they can divorced. I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. We got that. Uh, we got Adam Cole moving, moving, uh, and his move to, to Pennsylvania. The speculation with him and Britt Baker possibly breaking up. I hope not. Uh, and then Dynamite's raining really bad. Six hundred nine thousand views. Mm, that hurts. You can only imagine what Rampage does tomorrow and Collision on Saturday at five from five to seven. If anybody even watches it, watches it. I might. I'm definitely gonna watch it, and then I'm gonna go right into SummerSlam because I'm pretty much looking forward to SummerSlam because because hopefully we'll get the return of the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. But we'll see. We got that, and then uh, the other big story of the day: Survivor Series War Games in Vancouver at Rogers Center. November the 30th, 2024. So the end of November will be uh, the date for the final pay-per-view of the year for the main roster and the last of the big four pay-per-views before we turn the calendar over to 2025. And we begin the big four on February the 1st in Indianapolis at Lucas Oil Stadium for the 2025 edition of the Royal Rumble on the way to WrestleMania 41 in no 40 yeah 41 in Vegas on Easter weekend. We don't even know where SummerSlam 2025 might be. We do know 26 uh, 2026 might it's going to be a two night event in Indianapolis, and then uh, we'll find out where next year's Survivor Series might be. But this year is going to be in Vancouver. So, like I said, long plane ride for some of you, but we got that. All right, so that is it for my video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Leave me your thoughts and opinions about every news story I mentioned, AEW, Dynamite's rating, 
uh, Mercedes Monet's divorce, uh, possible Adam Cole and Britt Baker breakup, and also the Survivor Series War Games in Vancouver. So, leave your leave your uh, comments and opinions down below on any of those topics, and um, or anything else you want to talk about SummerSlam, whatever you want else you want to talk about down below in the comments section. But like I said, please. Keep it clean and keep it respectful. If not, you go bye-bye. And if you don't like it, like I said, go cry to your mama. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to um, quickly pre-tape my NXT review. And then I'm going to sleep because i got to go to the doctor tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, I have to do some I have to do some paperwork. And some other and some editing as well, because I have some pictures I took over the, over the last weekend uh, that I had I did do even while I was I was half half dead. And I still went out last weekend to do a couple a couple of uh, photo shoots and everything, so I had to edit and everything. So you won't see it, but it is what it is. So I got that, but this weekend gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. I'm gonna hang out with my peeps. At a bar watching SummerSlam Saturday night. And then Sunday, finally going going to have uh, some family time. But, we'll see what happens with that. Plans may change again, who knows, you know. Mrs. My, me, me, I might get, I, I don't know. I still have this little cough, a little tickle in my throat still. Even when I'm talking and when I'm drinking the agua, minalao. Or even even hot tea. I'm starting to drink hot tea now. Gotta open my airways even more. You know, and trying and drinking water to dehydrate myself and not burn myself out. And uh, you know, taking an inhaler, which I got one week left on, so I gotta finish that up by next Friday. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, everything goes okay, and I, I don't need the second inhaler that I have, because God forbid I have a, uh, bronchitis, and it hopefully it doesn't lead to asthma, you know, but, I mean, it is what it is, if I have it, I have it, but I can deal with it, I mean, it's, it's treatable, so I won't have to worry about that, just having sex with the missus might, you know, be a little bit proud a problem, because I gotta breathe, you know, while you're, you know, s slamming that ass, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. All right, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, if you're not down with all that, I, what I said, and you're just not down with me, period, and the prophecy and the purge, you're not down with all of us that are better than you and you know it, well, we got three of the greatest words in the history of life itself. Fuck you, man. That's it. All right, see you on my NXT review. If not, then I'll see you motherfuckers. Next time, peace.